cast ourselves at thy feet to worship, and he is gone, disappeared. And he sat right there, the Son of God in our home. And he walked all the way from Jerusalem with us. He talked to us, too, explaining the scriptures. But it is no marvel that he knows and could explain the scriptures so clearly that our hearts burned within us. He is the Son of God, the Creator. Through him were the scriptures written, and he is risen. What are we doing here? We should be on our way to Jerusalem to tell the eleven and the others the good news. Well, we have the greatest message ever given to mankind, a risen Savior. We were hungry. And weary. Now we have filled with joy. Oh, we have glad news for the disciples. But why stand here and talk? The disciples will want to hear all about our walk and talk with Jesus. They secure their pilgrim staffs and start immediately back along the same path by which they have just come. It's dark. My heart is light with joy. He is risen. The road is not safe going so fast, but we'll get there. With the glad tidings of a risen Savior, we will get there. Ah, I fell over a slippery rock. Oh, I'll, I'll give you a hand. There, you are risen. And so is Jesus. I, I think we're lost. Oh, we are anything but lost. We have found salvation in a risen Savior. These two disciples press on through the night, stumbling over rocks, climbing over steep places. They lose their way but find it again. Sometimes running, sometimes stumbling, they hasten on, their hearts leaping for joy. They do not see, they do not know, but beside them is an unseen protector. The very one who walked with them but a short time before is now close by their side all the way. The night is dark. But the sun of righteousness is shining upon them, protecting them. Christ is a risen Savior. He is not dead. He is risen. Upon reaching Jerusalem, they enter by the eastern gate, which is open at night on festal occasions. We had better go to the upper chamber where Jesus spent the last evening before his death. The disciples will be there. And they will not sleep until they learn for a certainty what has become of the body of the Lord. And we know. We'll tell them. He is risen. Perhaps they aren't here after all. All is quiet inside. But they're here. They are fearful we may be spies. We are not spies. We are disciples from Emmaus. I am Cleopas from Emmaus. Remember me? We left here only a few hours ago. Peter, John, Matthew, let us in. Come in. Hurry. Bolt the door again, quickly. Matthew, well, what are you trying to tell us? We know where the Lord is. He's risen. He appeared in person to Simon. We'll ask them to be a little quiet. We have a wonderful experience to tell them. Brethren, our two fellow disciples from Emmaus wish to say something. The Lord is risen. We saw him. For more than two hours, we talked to him. He was in our home. No. It happened on our walk home to Emmaus. He joined us, and we... Well, we didn't even recognize who it was. As we walked, he explained the scriptures about the coming of the Messiah. It thrilled our hearts to listen to him. Oh, he made it very clear what and where his kingdom shall be, and why he had to suffer and die on the cross. Then, no, at the gate no, of our... No. We want to hear everything, every word he said. Leave out nothing. Well, when he first joined us, we thought that he was a stranger in Jerusalem, as we told... We were about to fall down and worship him, when, lo... He disappeared. Cleopas, a terrible thought just came to me. What if we had not invited him into our home? What if we had not pressed the invitation? We never would have known who he was. Our home, our lives would never have been blessed as they are. Well, that is a terrible thought. Never, never will I pass up the chance to be kind 
and helpful to a stranger. Or even a brother, a neighbor. But all this I... I know not what to believe. Matthew, you sound like Thomas. <laughs> but it's all too good to be true. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. A stranger? Well, how did you get in? Peace be unto you. Spirit of the Master. Why are ye troubled? Why do such thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet and know that it is I myself. Touch me, handle me and see. The spirit hath not flesh and bones as ye see that I have. His hands do have nail prints. His feet do It is the voice of His the master. master. Everything about him looks like our Lord. Lord. Have ye any food? A little. Uh, uh, here's a piece of broiled fish and a honeycomb. Thank you, Matthew. Oh, he is the Lord. He is risen. Yes! 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 yes. 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 yes.